Yo, what's going on YouTube? So Lejona, so we back at it with some adventures. So today I will be giving you guys a complete guide on how to complete Cloner Labs if you're struggling with it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so once you first load into Cloner Labs, you will fight two mobs or enemies. Two are dread bots, which are very easy to get past. And the second one is a full enemy squad, which will cause a little bit of difficulty. But once you get past that, then you're at the first spot where you can go into the elevator. And once you go to the elevator and you load in, then you will be at the first room slash encounter. So let's get into that. So once you have loaded into the first room slash encounter, this encounter is not hard at all. It's really simple and easy, especially if you've been playing Avengers for a while, you already know how this works. So if you don't, you basically, someone has to stand on the top with the consoles, there are four of them, and you can only hit one at a time. So once the person hits the first console, it will basically bring up a little box holding someone inside, and you have to hit the little consoles on four different sides in that one little area. Once you do that, then that will be complete. And you have to do that four different times. Then once you do that, you're pretty much done with the room. That's literally it. That's all you have to do. Once you do that, all the enemies will disappear and then the elevator will open up. So once you have done with that, then you'll be loaded into the second room, which basically is the path that's holding you back from actually getting into the Kona Labs. So let's get into that. All right, so once you're loaded into the second area, I will state this now, if you have no communication with your team, this will be very difficult. But if you do have communication, I will state that this will be very easy in a breeze for you. So once you load in, there are three consoles labeled A, B, and C. So I'll be stating that for the rest of this explanation. So there are two people that will be on A and B on the left and right side. Whoever's the strongest will go to C. They'll be at the bottom by themselves. And the last person will actually be defending A and B from the hackers. So they will have a very important role once we get into the next part once everyone is in position on their consoles you can step on them and once you step on them they will turn blue once they're ready once they're blue there will be enemies and hackers that spawn as well there will be hackers on a and b and there will be a hacker on c once the person up top is defeating the hackers and the person at the bottom on c defeats their hacker then the people on a and b will meet on the second floor along with c then you will see three paths that you have to step on at the same time once you step on these paths at the same time then that will be the four encounter complete right there it is very simple and easy like i promise you it's way more easier than it needs to be because once you see it itself it looks intimidating but it's really not it's very simple so once you're done with that it is really smooth selling after that you will have to defeat an enemy squad that is loaded once you defeat them that's pretty much it you go into the elevator then you get to the final encounter with modok so when it comes to the modok boss fight i have to say the people I ran with really knew what they were doing, so we pretty much just steamrolled through Modoc the boss fight itself like it wasn't nothing. But there are some mechanics I saw once we were fighting him. Now there's a mechanic where he actually blocks all the damage that he takes for a certain amount of seconds, but after that, he pretty much takes a lot of damage and you know he's pretty much dead after that. And there's another one where he actually spawns fire on beneath him that does tick damage. So if you have Kamala on your team, or a Hawkeye or someone that could just heal, then you're pretty much not gonna feel that effect to be honest at all. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Once you defeat Modog, then that's pretty much the end of Clone Labs. You have completed it. Hopefully this has helped you out when it comes to overall guide and step-by-step -step how to complete it. That's pretty much it for today. Let me know in the comments Bruh. if I left anything out, if you have any helpful tips to put in the comments below so people can have a nice experience once they finally get to Clone Labs. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video as I enjoyed making it. Before we head out, if you guys are not, then make sure subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to send our post notifications so make the video and always be notified. And most importantly, make sure you guys hit that like button. Now, I do live stream on Twitch. We did a 12 hour stream yesterday or with almost 300 people on Twitch. So it's Liddy over there. I promise you, you're missing out if you're not there. But um, yeah, I'm gone. Peace.